In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the door hinge pin roller on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. Just to protect the paint, I'm gonna put some masking tape on the outside of the door. Just where it meets the gap right here. like that. Now open the door all the way and using a floor jack and a piece of wood just raise up underneath the door just to support it just slightly and then just make sure it's locked down real good. We're going to take these two bolts out use a 10 millimeter socket And there's three bolts that are holding the hinge to the body of the vehicle. You wanna take those out. Use a 13 millimeter socket. Get that last bolt out there. Then there's one more bolt straight in. Take this one off using a 13 millimeter socket. You may have to raise up on the jack just slightly, and then you can slide the hinge straight down. It comes right out. Now I'm gonna put the hinge in a vise and using some channel locks, never use your fingers because you might crush them. I'm just gonna fold this over just to loosen up on the spring, just like that. You could also use a pry bar if that doesn't work. Now you want to take the spring out very carefully. You want to just pry right here, just get under there, and then pry the spring out. This piece is going to go right here, and what we're going to have to do is just drill the top of this out. That looks good right there. Now take a punch. And hammer it up. There's the old roller. Take the new roller. We're gonna take this little boot off and slide that through. And the roller's gonna go on. It's gonna go through right there. And then take the nut, get that started. Just take a socket that just goes right over where the fitting is. And hammer it on. It's all the way down. Take an 11 millimeter socket. We'll tighten this down. And just snug that down. That's good. Before we put the spring back in, we want to use a grease gun and just grease this. Give it a couple pumps. Doesn't take much. You may see that some grease came out from around the, the bushing or the roller. You can just spin the roller just wipe away some of the excess grease. That's good. Now we'll take this tool, slide it over the spring, and you want to compress the spring a little bit. Just be careful. Slide the spring in place. You can use, you can use the pry bar as well. Try to get that on. It's all set. Now before, before we go to install this on the vehicle, we're gonna have to hinge this out a little bit. So just use a pry bar or some channel locks. Just put it in that position. Just be careful, don't get your fingers caught on the bottom. Where our grease fitting is, just put that little boot back on. 
Now slide the hinge up the same way it came off. And we'll get that back bolt started first. I'm just gonna leave it just a little bit loose. Take the other bolts, get these started. While those are in now, put these other two in. It's easier to put the inboard one in first. If you have to lower or raise the jack a little bit, you go ahead and do that while you're doing this. Now these two that go into the door, the 10 millimeter ones, we can tighten those down, snug those up good because the adjustments are not made on these ones. The three bolts that go into the body, just snug those up just slightly because we might have to adjust these. So you just want to check the gap, make sure the gap's not too tight over here because you may have to make an adjustment and then see how it is over here and then close it. When you open it, you should make sure the door does not drop down. And it's dropping down a little bit, so what you can do is just grab the door and just pull up on it a little. See if that's better. Let's go a little more. And that looks good right there. Now we can just go in there once we've made our adjustments and tighten these down. You want those pretty tight. And tighten this last one. Snug it down real good. That's good. Now just double check. Then you can take the tape off. And it all lines up. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.